to my channel. Happy New Year. Today I created this just colorful, golden, purpley, tealish glam, and I think it's pretty cool. I don't know, I really enjoy this makeup. Also, <laughs> can we just talk about this right here? Yeah, let's talk about that. I dyed my hair. Well, I didn't dye my hair. My mom dyed my hair because, girl, if I tried dyeing my hair, oh, that would not be a good thing at all. But yeah, my mom dyed my hair, so it's a little bit on my scalp, so you know that at-home dye job, it's amazing. But yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna excuse that. But anyways, if you guys wanna see how to create this makeup look right here, then please keep on watching. I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys. So the first shade I'm going to take is Silk Cream right here, and don't mind how dirty this palette is. I've cleaned it about 50 million times, but it just keeps getting fallout, and then it explodes, and it's just like, crazy so yeah just don't mind that and also my face is very red for some reason this side of my face has been super red recently and I don't know what to do so we're just gonna look past that <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Pooter right here and I'm just going to pop this in the crease as well All right, now to add a little bit of warmth into the crease, I'm going to take the shade Butter right here and I'm just going to pop that over the shades that we already set down. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Hunt right here and I'm just going to pop this into the crease. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Soda Pop right here. It's just that dark purple, and I'm just going to blend that into the outer V into the crease area. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Queen, and it's just a beautiful gold shade, and I'm just going to apply this to the first third of my eyelids, so right when I get a little bit too close to like where the half point of my eye is, I'm going to stop, and then I'm going to mix a, another shade, in which I will show you guys after I do that, so I'll be back. Okay, since I still want it to be just really pretty and purpley on the outer V, I kind of want to keep that shimmer in it. I don't really want it to go straight to matte. Um, so I think I'm going to take the shade, what is it called? Royalty right here, and I'm just going to blend that out on to my outer V, and I'm just going to pack it in there first and then blend it out because I still want it to have that shimmery purple on the outer V area. Why do I say area at the end of every sentence? <laughs> All right, now to mend that gold and the purple together, you can take whatever copper pigment or eyeshadow you want, and I'm just going to pack that on to the very center of the lid where the two shades meet, and just keep packing it and blending them together. Okay, now I just applied a quick wing and I'm going to move on to my foundation. Today I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in the shade Nude Beige.
All right, now I'm going to conceal my under eyes using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. You guys know pretty much everybody uses this concealer. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to take my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit and I'm just going to set my under eyes using the lightest shade right here. Alright, now I'm just going to bronze up my face using the L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade C6. I don't understand it, honestly, L'Oreal. Um, this is... C6, so it's cool toned shade 6, and literally it's straight up orange. Like it's orange. Cool toned? No. It's so orange. I don't understand it, but yeah. Because I got W6, that's what I used to use, um, and I need to go back to W6, but I just had this one because I picked this one up one day and it's literally solid orange and the warm toned is way lighter and it's the same shade 6, but it's like way lighter and all that. I, I don't understand, but it's okay. That's what we're going to go in with today. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to contour my face using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette once again, and I'm just going to take the middle shade for my contour today. Today. Alright, now for blush, I'm going to take the Makeup Geek blush right here in the shade Bliss. Okay, now I'm going to highlight using the Kylie Loose Powder Highlight in the shade Santorini. And you guys, this is the most blinding highlight. It's gorgeous. I'm also going to take this on my inner corners and my brow bone. Okay, now I'm just going to give like the full rundown of what I'm going to do on my bottom lash line instead of coming back and telling you guys after each step, we might as well just knock it all out with one hit. So I'm going to take the shade right here, Soda Pop, that dark purple, and I'm just going to keep that super tight on my bottom lash line, and then I'm going to blend it out with the shade Butter. And then after all of that, I'm going to take the shade right here called Jada. I was like... What's this, What's this one called? <laughs> I'm going to take the shade Jada and I'm just going to blend that under every single shadow because I just want a fun pop of color and why not use as many shadows as we possibly can? Okay, I just applied a little bit of Pool Party underneath my, um, on my bottom lash line as well after I applied that Jada shade because I just wanted a more pop, kind of like a more metallic look to the eye. So yeah, I just thought that, that would look cooler. I don't know. <laughs> and now I'm just going to apply my Blinking Beauty Lashes in the style Bomesque. Bomesque. For lips, I'm just going to keep it pretty simple and do a nude lip just because the eyes are a whole lot more dramatic. Um, I'm just going to take Max Japanese Maple Lipstick. All 
Alright guys, that's the end of this makeup tutorial. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and you all know. Please give it a big ol' thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel right down below. It really helps me. Once again, I will repeat it. My goal is to get to 500 subscribers here in the next month or two. That is just the ultimate goal and hopefully we can keep on growing from there. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye you guys.